Fennel, with its Latin name Feniculum vulgare, belongs to the Apiaceae family. The name is derived as a diminutive of the Latin word fenum, meaning hay, which certainly has to do with the grass-like feathery appearance of the leaves. Originally in Europe, the plant was only native to the Mediterranean area, preferring a sunny and wind-protected environment. But since the Middle Ages, fennel has also been cultivated in northern parts of Europe. Going back in history, we find that the herb has a long medicinal reputation. Fennel was believed to give longevity, courage and strength. During medieval times, people used fennel to ward off evil spirits and magic spells created by witches. It also was famous for strengthening eyesight. The Roman philosopher and writer Plinius, about uh, 2000 years ago, reports that snakes ate fennel to clear their eyesight after having cast off their skin. And indeed, fennel has successfully been used in case of visual impairment and ocular inflammation. It is the silicea content causing the healing effect. It is well known that fennel was held in high esteem in the monastic gardens of Europe over centuries. Already the famous healer, Abbess Hildegard von Bingen, that's about 1,000 years ago, described the effects of fennel in her herbal recipes. She said, however, if it is eaten, it makes man merry and gives him pleasant warmth, good sweat and good digestion. Also Chinese medicine has used it for a long time as a powerful remedy against all kinds of health problems. Historical evidence shows that fennel is one of the oldest vegetables spices and medicinal plants used by man. Fennel seeds are the herb of the European kitchen. The herb is rich in vitamin C, potassium, calcium and magnesium and has few calories if the tubers are prepared as a vegetable. Now the shape of the plant and the yellow color of the flowers manifest fennel's relationship to light and warmth. The fine-grained sheets are well suited to absorb light and warmth. Thus, the plentiful medicinal effects of the herb are not surprising and makes us understand that fennel was considered a panacea. Its airy outer appearance already signifies its healing energies with regard to the respiratory tract. The fragrance can be described as mild, warming, earthy, peppery and sweeter spicy, similar to anise. Apart from mainly seeds-producing species, there are also those that develop the tubers near the ground, being very tasty as a vegetable. Responsible for taste, smell and healing powers of fennel are especially the seeds containing the essential oils. Fennel I'll take you also. <laughs> it's a reflex. It's a fennel forest. I want it always to be in a fennel forest. The major chemical compounds of fennel oil are alpha pinene, mercene, fenthion, transanetol, methyl javicol, limonene, 1.8 cineol or eucalyptol, and anise aldehyde. The herb also contains silica, mineral salts, starch, and vitamins like vitamin A, B, and C. The numerous health benefits of fennel characterize it as an all-round medicinal plant and oil. It is still an indispensable household remedy for many to have at hand at any time. Fennel oil's major virtues are antiseptic, antispasmodic, fennel unfolds strong relaxing healing powers on nerves, muscles and the respiratory tract, and also soothes spasmodic attacks in case of painful coughs. 
as an aperitif, it works mildly purgative, thereby influencing the intestinal and peristaltic motion. It's depurative. Fennel oil acts as a detoxifier and cleans the blood from unwanted deposits, like uric acid and other substances. It's diuretic. As a lymphatic stimulant, fennel essential oil supports urination, thereby removing excess water, uric acid, and other toxins. It's a managogue. The female body may benefit from fennel's ability to make menstruations regular and reduce painful symptoms like headache, nervousness, and dizziness. It's expectorant. In case of persistent cough and phlegm, fennel proves effective relief. Also, when used in case of congestion of the nasal tract, the larynx, the pharynx, and bronchi, caused by cold and infections, fennel can unfold its healing properties. Fennel is also galactogogue, can be recommended for breastfeeding mothers. It stimulates the milk production of the body by boosting the hormone release of estrogen, which is of benefit for the baby as well as for the mother. It's also laxative, as such, good for treating both chronic and acute constipations with the great advantage that it does not cause side effects like many of the synthetic laxatives. It is stimulant, of course. Fennel oil acts as a powerful stimulus for the brain and the neurons, strengthens all activities of the endocrine system, meaning secretions of the endocrine and exocrine glands. Now, fennel contains a lot of ethers. We can understand this as a signature, a term which is used to convey the connection between a plant's shape, color, floral shape, fragrance, size, etc., with its intrinsic energy and healing power. As much as the tuber of the stem near the soil invites to become food, it represents the earth element, but the leaves and the stem move with the wind and seem to be more interested in air and space. And this then, after the floral phase, leads to the seeds from which we derive the essential oil. The bulky and fat tuber, spacey and airy, leaves on the other side. And if we open the stem, we can see that even here, the Vayu and Akasha elements, the air and the space, as we would say in Ayurveda, have taken over. The long stem is hollow inside, which gives it actually better stability in the movement of the wind, and maybe to us too, tossed around in the winds of the world. Fennel oil seems to want to transfer this airy stability through its seeds to those who want to use the oil. And this has very much to do with the presence of the ethers such as transanetol and methyl chavicol. Ethers are known for their antispasmodic effects on the human system. This means nothing else than that they help to loosen up our being too much identified with the material structure of our body. They uncramp us and show us our way back to our etheric body, to use the terminology of anthroposophy, or in Ayurvedic terms, make us aware that we are more than just a food body. Ayurveda calls it Anamaya Kosha. We are more than this one body. Ethers relax body and mind. They help us letting go and restore balance in the nervous system. With this, using a few drops of fennel oil can be interesting to get over emotional glue, if we want to say so, obsessive thinking, depression, and the like. And it is not hard to put a drop in the mouth. The oil is pleasantly sweet and slightly pungent. Ether substances, not unlike ketones, as neuvine tonics, strengthen our energy body, which naturally can lead to more subtle experiences in the realm of our inner worlds. This can be very interesting if taken in the right way. It is always the same. The right doses is medicine. The overdoses has to be avoided. But this is the case with all what we ingest, touch, breathe in, smell, expose ourselves to. Nothing special about that. I used to call the ethers the Akashic rescue allies. They have definitely their place in the new era of the rediscovery of nature's medicine in form of aromatherapy. And our time at the moment is so loaded with stress and anxieties of all kinds, which makes it even more relevant to look for allies from the plant kingdom and which can help us in a natural way to relax with more clarity and let our spirit inside take command.
So then, glory to Mother Nature, glory to the fennel plant, the medicine from the beyond. Thank you.